What's good YouTube family? We're back with another video today. I'm gonna be going over quickly the top three underrated calisthenic exercises that you need to be doing right now. If you're not doing these already, I highly recommend you do them. We're gonna get right into it. Number one is a leg exercise. It's the Nordic hamstring curl. You might've seen this exercise. Honestly, I found out about it from, uh, what's his name, knees over toes guy. And then when he started posting that, about how effective the Nordic hamstring curl is, especially for those people who play sports. So at the time in university, I was playing lacrosse and I started incorporating the Nordic hamstring curl throughout my workout program. Three times a week, I was doing this throughout the span of a couple of months. I think it was like two months. I was doing this almost consistently for three times a week. I was consistently doing this at my university and it was crazy. My speed, went from here to here. Like I shot through the roof. And it, I felt, just felt so fast, like unstoppable. I could run through anyone. And it was so cool just to see that. And also just to see the, the growth within my glutes and my hamstrings. I think the reason why I was so fast and I was reading about a study on this is that you're training your body to launch up very quickly in the Nordic hamstring curl. It's a difficult exercise, I'm not gonna lie. You have to hook your legs underneath a surface so they're positioned, and then you're basically keeping your body straight. You're lowering your body down. As you're lowering your body down slowly, you're focusing lowering your body down with your glutes and your hamstrings very slowly, and then you're putting your hands out in front of you. You're kind of doing like an explosive push-up to push back up, but, you don't want to use your arms. You want to use your glutes and your hamstrings to push yourself back up. You don't want to just do an explosive push up and then come up to the top because that defeats the purpose of the exercise. So you want to come down to the bottom, give yourself a little push, that's what I was doing, and then really contract your glutes, contract your hamstrings, and then pull yourself up back up to the top. If you have a hard time doing this exercise, I highly, I highly, highly, highly recommend you do this regression, which is basically grabbing some pillows or some kind of box to put in front of you, where you basically just lower the range of motion that you do it. So if I grabbed a bunch of pillows, all I would do is just lower my body down, and then I have a stacked bunch of pillows. Now I don't have to come all the way to the ground. I can kind of put my hands up, push my hands away from those pillows that are stacked, and then again, pull with my glutes and my hamstrings. Over time, you want to take a pillow away or take a box away or make the box smaller. So then you, over time, progressively get to the floor. All right, it's a difficult exercise, but give that one a try. Number two is going to be the ring face pulls. Calisthenic rings, if you don't have calisthenic rings already, invest in them, they're so important. All right, this one specifically is, I don't care who you are, me, me too, like I don't care who you are, you need to practice this exercise. Like, if you're someone who is on their phone, who is at their computer desk at work, um, we, all, we all have technology, most of us all, you're watching this right now, you're all, you have technology, okay? A lot of us are like cranking our head down. I see it, like we cranking our head down. Like, I do it too, I got my phone right here. I crank my head down at my phone. I'm a culprit of it, I do it all the time. But this exercise, the ring face pulls, literally is a great exercise to strengthen the posterior part of your shoulder to strengthen your traps, to strengthen your neck muscles, all right, all on the posterior. What you're, you're basically grabbing the rings, you're having your arms at a 90 degree angle, and you're pulling them to your face, the ring face pull. It's really not that hard to perform and it's not that difficult to understand, all right, with the mechanics of kind of how your arms are set up. But this exercise is actually, it's kind of difficult if you, if you work out it in a way where you're doing a lot of reps at a time, okay? You're like, cause again, this is calisthenics, it's body weight, so it's not that difficult to do, you know, a couple, like five, six reps. It's not gonna be that much of a benefit to you. But if you're doing something like 50 reps, maybe you break it up, two sets, 25 reps the first set, and then 25 reps the second set. That's what I was doing actually personally. Um, just recently in a program that I was doing, I was doing face pulls and I feel a lot better. Like even after just doing them, I just feel more upright. But over time, once you do them progressively, it's gonna be great just for strengthening those back muscles and helping you with your posture and also just avoiding 
cranking your neck, you know, kind of getting back into that, that mode of shifting your body upright again. Number three is going to be the final one, which is the hollow body hold. I think this one is so underrated. It's really not talked about a lot. It's really primarily an abdominal exercise, and it's also a spine stability exercise as well. Okay, I started incorporating this exercise when I was trying to learn handstands. When I was getting into learning handstands a couple years ago, I, I came across, I don't know where I found it, I came across the hollow body hold, it probably was some calisthenic athlete who was doing it, and I was like, I'm gonna give this a try. Started doing it, incorporating it like consistently every single day, and my handstands went to the next level because I'm basically putting myself in this position where you can see in the hollow body hold, if my hands, the full progression, with my hands over my head, all right, my biceps are by my ears, and my lower back is pushing the ground, my chin is tucked, my shoulders are lifted off the ground, my feet are lifted off the ground, and I'm like in this position. Now this position is hard, because you can shake a lot. It's really, it's, it's challenging to be in this position. So if you need to regress to the first variation of this, you're basically doing a tucked hollow body hold. All right, you're tucked, and then what you can do is you can kick your feet out and then have your hands by your side, and then over time, lift your hands above your head. But I'm gonna tell you right now, this was not only great for my handstands, putting myself into this more strict alignment for a strict handstand and helping me with my abdominal strength for handstand, but also that abdominal strength carried over to things like the muscle up and the front lever. These different calisthenic skills benefited so much just by me practicing this singular exercise. So there you have it. Those are the three calisthenic exercises that have truly helped me throughout couple of years on my journey now and I still consistently revisit them time and time again. So give them a try. Let me know if you tried any of them and let me know in the comment section below if you have any others that you personally think are underrated as well. Much love. Do your boy a favor. Give this video a like. Subscribe. If you're not already subscribed, do all that stuff right now. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace. Are you still, bro, did you not hit the like button? Hit the like button for your boy. Help your boy out. Subscribe too, come on.